So, um, ladies and gentlemen, our second session today is on the subject of security, um, a very broad topic, I have to say. Uh, and some might believe, uh, as I do, that probably one of the greatest threats to our security is the topic that we were discussing in the previous session, which is mass uncontrolled immigration. But I'll, I'll put that in brackets um, because we've discussed that already um, this morning. But um, we could say that a state of security is when our, our people feel safe and free in our countries. Con confidence, I would say, in the ability of our authorities uh, to keep us safe and, and free and deal with a whole range of threats. And as we will all know, the, the range of threats is enormous. The obvious ones of terrorism, uh, hybrid warfare, uh, including things like uh, fake news, which has now become more and more uh, familiar to us, uh, cyber attack, the security of our infrastructure. Uh, there are threats at all those levels. And at another level, the threat of rogue states um, and indeed of non-state actors, particularly now if we go to the top end of the level of threat, uh, and that is when a rogue state, or indeed a non-state actor, gets their hands on a weapon of mass destruction. Um, our defenses against these threats, well, uh, obviously, our police, our intelligence and security services, our armed forces, a loyal, aware population, and of course our international allies, uh, and for most of us, uh, in terms of external threats, this is primarily uh, through the NATO alliance, where, of course, we have the power of the United States and, indeed, of Canada uh, alongside uh, European allies uh, for the defense of our Western uh, democracies. The hindrances to our security, well, I'll be a little controversial here, some of the hindrances Maybe this obsession with human rights. Uh, maybe this obsession with privacy laws, the way they are so often provocatively and wrongly interpreted. I've mentioned immigration, uh, but I would also say uh, the problem of resources. Uh, lack of resources when there are so many demands on the public purse in all of our countries, how much are we prepared to actually pay?